we are at the Mo and Jean Johnson High School. And as you can see, we're in the band hall, so let's walk in. You can see the windows to the band secretary's office. That's right, band secretary. Fairly large office with windows that look out. And this door goes into the head director's office where Mr. Joey Lucita is. He has windows, screens down, room for a meeting place, the aforementioned door into the secretary's office, which leads us right into band hall one. This little cove area where the doors are, the kids can enter here. Head director's office. As you can see, students are opening crosses. It is Christmas. Double doors that lead out to the back of the school. You go over here to this office, which right now is just a meeting room. Very similar in size and scope as the head director's office. For now, it will be for assistants and techs and whatnot to put space, maybe master class teachers, but you can see it too looks out into band hall one. As we come through, we are going through the hallway. And to the left, you have the music library, which currently has no music in it. I stand corrected, there are method books, I believe. With a copier, lots of shelf space, as you can see looks out into the hallway. Across from the music library is uniform storage, where they have uniform storage. It's for the band directors who want a tour of your facility. This is for band directors, they want a tour. This is not for my channel. All right, so we go down and there is a staff break room. Staff break room. I'll turn the lights on somehow. In the staff break room, you can see they have their coffee pot already, running water facilities, and they're about to plug in their dishwasher. You can see there are two restrooms for faculty only with sink, toilet, and you guessed it, a shower. Apparently that doesn't work because there's a giant X. The other bathroom looks the same. Then across from this is the utility room where you will find the ice machine, plenty of room, and running water sink. Probably the booster room. You come down a little further and on the left it says library, but this is actually another office. This is Mr. Duffy's office. You can see that it has windows, Plenty of room, all that good stuff. And then across from Mr. Duffy's office is yet another storage room. I don't know what will go in here, but right now it looks like it might be just office supplies and such. And then you keep going down more, and there's Eddie trying to recruit. And we have another office. It says Duffy's office, but it is not that. It might be that. This is for the Facebook tour that all my band director friends are asking about. <laughs> Perform America, right? Yes. All right, their office looks out. Consulting right now. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> you go down further and you get to another storage room. This will probably be guard and percussion. As you can see right now, it's just mainly junk and uh, new equipment that has yet to be opened. Huge storage facility. And yes, a door to get out. And yes, a garage door that will open up to the side of the school where they can walk to the marching band field. One thing I did not also show you was band hall two. This is a full size band hall. Not as big as band hall one, but nevertheless, still another complete working band hall with double doors that open to the outside. Here's where things get super fun. Not that we haven't been having fun yet. A closed storage closet. How nice. Oh, that's a marimba one. Then they have storage A. Storage A is this giant long hallway 
that, you guessed it, leads all the way through to band hall two. It connects both band halls. That's storage A. Oh, storage B, where they have lockers and such. That leads, you guessed it again, all the way to the other band hall. And as if that wasn't enough, because you know it's not. Yes, they have a water fountain and a bottle filler on both band halls, by the way. Storage C, which goes all the way to, say it with me, the other band hall. I am sure the staff will dedicate storage rooms appropriately to instruments, but for now, they just have all that stuff. Christmas time in a new band hall. So we've shown you the storage rooms, the band halls, the offices. Good to see you, bye. <laughs> then we have dressing. Anyone in here? This is the female dressing room in the band area. Bathroom, bathroom stalls, dressing area, basically almost another ensemble area for band. Basically color guard, I'm sure. There is boys dressing. I have not been in there. But my understanding is boys dressing is similar in scope, but maybe not in size. A urinal and a toilet. And then a smaller dressing area because apparently boys don't dress as much as girls, which is a complete lie when it comes to me. So I would like to put all my shoes in the girls' dressing room and not the boys' dressing room. Then we come down to a hallway that actually separates drama or black box, um, but this whole wing is basically fine arts, but you can see there is a women's restroom and a men's restroom still in the band area, but in case the boys' and women's dressing room is all full, they have other restrooms. Down this hall, you go to the black box theater and such, but here we have the ensemble room, which is a winger thing. And as you can see, it's big. It's bigger than any practice room I had in college or in high school, of course. Going down the hallway again, and now we get to giant ensemble room. This is still an ensemble room, but it's basically a giant classroom where we held our leadership camps. It's big, it's big. Like you can put a whole combo in here, percussion ensemble piece in there. Practice room, practice room. Main hallway to here. Another practice room, ensemble room rather. As big as the other ones, as the other one I showed you. Another ensemble room as big, so we have three of these winger ensemble rooms, two of these giant ensemble rooms that aren't winger, but again, you could put a drum line in here, a pit in here, woodwinds, etc., a jazz combo, and then three more practice rooms, which brings the total to five winger practice rooms, three winger ensemble rooms, two large ensemble rooms, two large band halls, and then an abundance of storage, which I has already lost count. Oh, wait, never mind. I was wrong. More practice rooms. Bang, bang, bang. And this takes us all the way back to the band secretary. I don't know much about square footage, but I assure you it's a lot. And this comes down to what looks like the front of the school, but it's not the front of the school. This is like the back of the school, but this is where the gym is at. And people will eat lunch here, people will commiserate here. And then those doors there on the left-hand side, that's where the band hall opens up to. It opens up to a mini amphitheater where the band can give performances or presentations or meetings. So basically the band could do their like spring fling where they do their marching show and the audience can sit out here in the shade. This is not the front of the school, it's the back. And if you're interested, I'm not supposed to enter the gym, so I will not. But this looks like it's the big gym.
I will take you on a little tour of some of the coolest parts of this school, especially the part that Mr. Joey Lucida was the most excited about. This is the like long airport terminal of the school, basically. And you have what is like the cafeteria area. So open air and huge. And they have, you know, classrooms and such. Sounds like someone's going to play. Oh, probably because there's so much crap being unboxed and whatnot. It's a hell of an unboxing video. But you have the kitchen area where they serve foods and whatnot. I'll go down this hallway in a minute so you can see. This is going to be a longer video than I thought, but... The best part, according to Joey Lucita, is this. Right down the street from the band hall, a coffee bar. A coffee bar in the school. They have culinary. They have nutrition. They have vet tech. They have cosmetology. It's hard to see. This might be the greatest school. There's no might. This is the greatest school I've ever taken foot in. It's like a community college. Heck, it's better than some colleges. This is probably what I imagine ACC will look like. The one that's in Highland Mall. But there we go. That's the tour of the facilities thus far, especially through fine arts. It is amazing. I would highly recommend all of you reach out to Mission Lucita to see if you can come check out the facilities because even if you're not building a school, or renovating a band hall. It's a nice place to look at. So that's the video. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Go Johnson Jaguar Band and visit studentsleading.org so that you can book all of us at Sassy Leadership. Goodbye.